Braveheart Tegan. Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. And we've got some Doctor Who B&M character options news. I can't believe it, because it doesn't usually, um, you don't usually get any news this early on in the year, being being still February. But yeah, it's come to light that um, there's, I mean, there's no official confirmation as yet from a character. But um, apparently we're going to have four four brand new sets for this year, which is which is great news. Um, I would have liked more sets, but as, as, as I mentioned on a previous uh, video, well, this was this was last year. Well, I, I, I believe that the um, that the, the lower amount of sets that we now have um, in relation to B and M is because character are concentrating on newer online exclusives you know so we saw we saw the leaks from the uh london toy fair in olympia with um the shooty figure ruby um and the and the <laughs> and the alien guy from the 60th anniversary i can't i can't remember what it was called um not to mention um beep the meep plushie <laughs> But no, so we so we so we so we're aware of at least three new action figures from the brand new series, um, and that's and that and that's why I personally think that there were less sets last year, and there'll be less sets this year with um, with B and M because character are also concentrating on uh, the new series as well as um, online exclusives. So I mean, this is this is all good news, and um, I mean it's a similar it's a similar um, release date as previous years. So July twenty twenty four, which is which is always when I'm, <laughs> which is always when I'm in Alton Broad. Well, I you know I pop to my little caravan. If you follow the channel, you know I like to pop pop to Alton Broad for a week, um, and they've got some good B and M's in a lower stuffed. The, although, was it a couple of years ago? It was when the uh, Abominable Snowman online exclusive was released, literally <laughs> when I was in my caravan, and I deliberately didn't order it because I knew I wouldn't be home when it when it um, when it got delivered. And um, yeah, I missed out on that. <laughs> but uh, which is why I, I made sure to buy the Joe Martin um, Tardis action figure, which I still love. And at the moment, it is still my favourite Tardis uh, because I didn't want to miss out on that. Just like I did, because I really wanted the uh, Patrick Trout and the Bonneville Snowman action figure with his fur coat and and that Tardis. I loved it. It looked great. So yeah, I missed out on that, and it was electronic as well. But anyway, back to you know, back to why you called. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got the um, a, a potential July twenty twenty four release history of the dalek set 16 um, which is um ad um he's kept to his word um resurrection of the daleks which you, you know it had to be done i mean um I'm, i imagine it's another two pack if it's the same as previous uh, releases and um i mean it's, it's got to be the supreme dalek the supreme black and white Dalek and um, your standard grey drone. I mean, that would be perfect. Resurrection of the Daleks. Um, it's all about nostalgia. You must know by now I'm a sucker for nostalgia, but it will be um, uh, Resurrection of the Daleks. My, you know, my favourite Dalek story of all time. But, you know, because I remember... I remember being scared of it, watching it um, back in 1984 um, on the portal, on the black and white portable. One of the episodes in my uh, my brother's bedroom, and I, I was on my own. I was petrified of that episode, probably because the <laughs> probably because the lady from um, Play School was on it. And I've, did she get killed? I can't remember. I can't, I'm, yeah, I think she got killed, and uh, that really that really messed me up. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to Resurrection of the Daleks. It's about time, but at least AD, you know, he stuck to his word and he, and he um, you know, he's, he's he got a lot of backlash, 
which I, which I think was fair when he when he skipped the resurrection of the Daleks. But yeah, we, we're getting resurrection of the Daleks. I'm, I'm so happy about it. I, I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it'd be coming this year. And then you've got a um, a free figure pack, friend and foe. Um, no idea, no idea what this is. I'm sure it'll be. Um, I, I assume it it will be. Um, I don't know, old old figures, maybe with a, a, a repaint. I, I I've got no idea what this what this is going to be, but. If they were going to stick to the resur- re- resurrection of the Daleks theme, oh, imagine if it was Litton. Imagine a Litton figure in his in his police uniform with um, a couple of Dalek troopers. I mean, that that would be great. But you know, the, the title is friend and foe, so I don't know. Maybe a, a Tegan, a Tegan figure, a Turlo. No idea. I've got no idea about this. No idea at all. But I hope it's classic and it's not um it's not new who, you know, because yeah, we, I think we've had enough new who if I'm honest. Then um we're looking uh, similar to last year, we're looking at um mid to end of October 2024. So you've got another history of the Dalek set. Um number 17, Parting of the Waves. So um so as this is a Dalek set, I'm I'm assuming it's going to be um, a Dalek, you know, one of the um, Emperor Daleks, uh, special Daleks, you know, with a with a special doesn't have a plunger, has some kind of special thing, um, similar to the to the figures, you know, similar to the figures they they um, originally released in the noughties. Obviously, it's the old Dalek sculpt. And possibly uh, the Dalek with the um, with the the Dalek claw that had had the um, uh, torch to burn. You know, remember when they um, uh, melted? <laughs> I'm not explaining it very well. When they melted the door um, so they could get, um, <laughs> burn through the door. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. So I reckon it's going to be those two Daleks. And also they were kind of a dark, more of a kind of um, less of a bronze, more of a kind of a, a Brownie colour, if I remember. So that's what I reckon that will be. Um, and I, I'd be interested in that. It'd be nice to get a different variant, you know, um, of of the Daleks, or, you know, the new series Bronze Daleks. But you know, from w- with the new sculpt. So I think I think that'd be a nice touch. And then finally, so it's four sets in total for this year. And then finally, you've got. Um, You've got a Davros Deluxe set. Now, I'd, I mean, I'd, I'd love, I'd love to see the uh, Emperor Dalek from um, Remembrance of the Daleks. That would, I mean, that would be great having a re-release of that. But I, I mean, I, I don't know for sure. But I heard that the, the actual um, tooling for that actual um, Dalek was was destroyed or, or lost. For for the Emperor Davros, so so unless they've redone it, I mean I, I'd love that. I mean I, I missed out on that in in the uh, in the noughties, but um, I, I would love to, you know the white and gold remembrance of the Daleks Davros. That would be a fantastic release, but I can't I, I just I can't see that being released for um, for B and M. I, I I think they they would save that. I mean, I know it's a deluxe set, but I I, I would see that because they everyone wants that set. I, 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 if I was them, I'd wait. Um, well, if I if I was character options, I'd wait and I'd sell it for stupid money um, on character options on their website, and they they could charge what they wanted, and everyone would buy it. I'd buy it. So that so that makes me think it's not going to be. Remembrance of the Daleks, Davros. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a big finish, Davros. What was what was the story? It was the Davros story with the was was it? Um, I'm trying to think, was it a Colin Baker? Story? I've got it. And it was with it was with the mechanoids. 
if I remember, and it was a Colin Baker big finish story. But Davros was, you know, it was it was the standard Davros from because um, Terry Malloy played Davros in the uh, in the audio drama, but it was Davros in um, uh, in his standard resurrection um, form, but he was he was painted white and gold. Sit, um, and I, I and I remember um, Corgi when they did the diecast uh, Doctor Who. Um, vehicles and and figures. I think they yeah they did a Davros as well. He was white and gold in the standard Terry Malloy form. So that's that's my prediction. I I, I I'd love it. I'd love it to be Remembrance of the Daleks Davros. But I think it's going to be big finish because it's because it, because it's quite an easy an easy thing to do because they all they've got to do is um, just use. Um, an old Davros sculpt from um, a previous release, and uh, just painting white and gold. And again, I, I'd I'd love it. I'd I'd love to see it. I think it I think it will look great. Um, so I won't be disappointed um, if if they don't um, release um, Emperor Davros from Remembrance. But I think that I think that will come in the future. But I I, I don't think it's going to be for a for a, a few years but if, if it is if it is remembrance you know i'm, I'm gonna be well excited <laughs> because i'm i'm easily pleased but i mean that's my that's my predictions whether they come true who knows but anyway that's uh that's the end of uh that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe let me know you care and i'll see you in the next one